studied the ventilator. Now we are uh, seeing the. Let's see couple of more uh, application of the Bernoulli's equation. Okay. One more application is a spray gun. Have you seen that uh, that uh, that spray gun through which you spray some? Holy, holy, not holy, which carry. Oh, that uh, cockroach or a spray in the street. No, not hit with like this. See, it is like this. All of you, please draw this. Needs oxygen, okay. Even heart needs 
oxygen. And how the heart gets oxygen? From the blood, blood carries the oxygen and delivers to the every organ. Alright? So if blood is not going in a particular organ, it automatically means that oxygen is not going to that organ. So tissue starts to die. And when tissue starts to die, it will send a signal to the brain and it will cause a pain at that area. The so same, same thing happens when the blood doesn't go to the heart. So lack of oxygen inside the heart, okay, or blockage of oxygen for the heart is the heart attack. Okay, that happens when the blood doesn't go inside the heart. Okay, and when it will doesn't go, when the artery is blocked, does it need a complete blockage for heart attack to happen? But heart attack will happen only when the blood is completely blocked. Are you getting it? See what happens is that even if suppose you have 80% or 30% of blockage. So this is the fact that is stored if you eat a lot of junk food. This is what happens. Alright? Now, this is very serious. You get heart attack. <laughs> oh, what is so funny? Can you understand? Have you ever spoken to anyone who got in heart attack? What kind of sensations? What kind of pain? It is not funny. The, the kind of pain you can correlate with is like putting 10,000 kgs on your chest. Okay, that is the kind of pain you will have. Okay, and how it starts? Initially, you'll feel dizziness, you'll feel like vomiting, so you'll go to the washroom. Okay, thinking that oh, everything will be alright, and go there, vomit, and come back to your fine. <laughs> but if you lock your door and heart attack comes there, gone. <laughs> And then the complete blockage happens and huge amount of pain will happen. Okay, you can't even imagine. Alright? And then you'll come you'll fall flat. And then others will help you, then only something can happen. Your life can be saved then only. Okay? So immediately you get a blood thinner injection. If you don't get that blood thinner injection within next one or two hours, no. Stand up. The crowd. Is The half pen is the dress. Never. This uniform. Okay. Ha! Ah, school where people used to wear half pen. Even my dad used to tell me to wear half pen. Like, come on, dad, to wear the full pen. <laughs> no, you. <laughs>
So they press the nerve. So the area will further decrease or not? Area further decreases. Now velocity will further increase because area has gone down further. Then if pressure further decreases because velocity further increase, the further it get pressed. So like that is a chain reaction. So even if blockage is 10% only, it can still cause the heart attack. Alright? You, you don't, I mean, you, it is not like the, oh it is only just 10%, let me eat more junk food. So it is alright. No, it, that chain reaction can start. It's, anything can trigger this. Alright? There are people who have 90% of the blockage also, they, they didn't get block, they didn't get heart attack. The, the, the doctor tells them that there's a 90% blockage, so they undergo the what what they call? Angioplasty. Okay, and then it was fine. But till that point they didn't get heart attack. But there are cases in which people who have just 20-30% blockage they got a heart attack. And the age of 15, 14, 22, 25, it is so common nowadays. Okay? Ha, this is one mechanism of getting the heart attack which is according to what we have learned. There is another mechanism also. Suppose you have artery with a, uh, this kind of deposition. Okay? What happens is that if you sit continuously at a place, you, you don't participate in any, uh, I mean your lifestyle is sedentary, you don't, uh, have, you don't have any outdoor activity. Uh, so what happens if you sit continuously in a place, blood clot can get created on legs. Because the, the, what, the, the blood circulation is very less on the legs because of the gravity. Because of that, the, the blood clot get created in, the, uh, in the, the nerves, they get carried and then, suppose this is a blood clot, it will come and block this. And this is another way people get heart attack. Alright? So, don't eat junk food and don't sit for a very very long period. Okay? It is in your syllabus, so that's why I'm Write down dynamic lift. Dynamic lift. What is dynamic lift? It is like a it is sort of you can say a mysterious force that get created because the fluid is moving. For example, have you uh, seen a ball swinging in the air? It swings like that. So in, in football it is very common. Bend it like Beckham. Right? So Beckham takes a straight path. Right? So it usually happens when people take corners, okay? So at times people take corner, corner like this, like I'm standing here and the goal is somewhere there. So if I kick it, it has to swing and go like that, then only it goes inside the goal, alright? So it is as if some force is acting on the ball in this way. Then only ball will move in this way, but you have kicked in this direction, alright? So, this is called dynamic lift and another very common example is flight when it is at the level flight, it is moving forward, there is a gravitational force acting on it, down and the engines when they are on, they are creating the forward thrust, right, engines are creating force for it to move forward, engine is not creating force in vertical direction, a rocket creates vertical force, that is fine, but when it comes to a uh, an aircraft, it is a horizontal force only. Okay? So what is balancing the NG? There has to be a force, otherwise it will accelerate downward, it will go down. Right? So that force is the force because of the moving air. Are you getting it? So there has to be some force due to the moving air that is keeping the aircraft afloat or that is creating a swing in a moving ball. Right? That is what is called dynamic lift. Alright? 
Now when aircraft is moving in the air, it is not that the air is blowing. Air is still only. Air is stationary. But it is an aircraft that is moving. So relative to aircraft, the air is flowing. So it doesn't matter whether air is moving or you are moving. It is just a relative motion of air that matters. For example, if, if you are in a bike and the bike is moving fast, even in a still air, you feel that as if a wind is blowing. Yes or not? Right? Same thing happens with the aircraft. If aircraft is going very fast, with respect to aircraft, I can say that the wind is blowing. Alright, so let us study that, what actually happens. Okay? So, let's first take the case of ball swinging. Alright? Case number one, ball moving without a spin. If spin is not given to the ball, it goes like this, velocity v. If it goes like this, there is absolutely no force that will act by the air. Because whatever happens above, whatever is the movement of the air above, the air will come like this, ball is moving forward, right? So air will go like that. So this air's velocity is same as that air's velocity. So pressure over here is same as pressure over there or not? According to Bernoulli's theorem, if I treat this entire ball as if there is no height difference, very small height differences there, then I can say that P plus half rho V square is constant. Rho GH, rho GH will get cancelled away. H is same. Okay. So if velocity is same, pressure is same. Right? So both sides pressure are same. So it will go straight. No change. Alright? Now what if the ball is spinning? Then what will happen? Case 2. Write down. Ball spinning and it is moving forward. Let's say it spins like this and it moves forward with velocity v. Omega is the spin. Okay? Now can you tell me what is the velocity of topmost point? If radius is r, what is the velocity of topmost point? r omega plus v. If suppose v is not there, the topmost point velocity will be Omega R, but V is also there, so plus V. Okay, what is the bottom most point velocity? Omega R now this side. So this is uh, V minus Omega R. Right? V minus Omega R. Now, the, the upper point, upper portion is moving with higher velocity. Lower portion is moving with lower velocity. So the air that is in contact with the upper portion will move with the upper portion. Yes or no? And the air which is in contact with lower portion will move with the with that velocity. So the velocity of air at the top portion is higher and velocity of air at bottom portion is lower. So pressure over here will be higher than there. Yes or no? So now forces will be unbalanced. So there will be a net force acting in this way. So ball will not only move straight, it will start swinging like that. It will become projectile. Are you getting it? Okay, so this is the force because of the pressure difference that get created. Same kind of force comes in the aircraft as well. Any doubt? This is by the way called Magnus effect. If you don't know. Have you learned this in school? Yes, 
Magnus effect. Okay, is it clear?